My name is Laura Mosqueda, and I'm delighted that we can show you what the next phase of your training could look like. Okay, you saw the pigtail, it's like maybe four millimeters. Big difference. From the very first week that you're here, you're already interacting with patients, becoming acculturated to being a clinician. The amount of exposure that we get as students at LA County and Tech and all these different sites is incredible. Good morning, Mr. Reed. Good morning. The classroom version is just learning from textbooks. All right, Charlie, you have this case. So um, this is Mr. Reed. He is our 64-year-old gentleman. It's cool being able to see how things present in, in reality. So what can cause that? If you think something um, is going on, you say why. If you don't think something is going on, you also say why. We are smack in the middle of it all, right here uh, in this health sciences campus. So we have a county hospital right across the street that has incredible, not only inpatient, but ambulatory facilities. Right across the street in the other direction, we have our Keck Hospital with wonderful ambulatory and outpatient surgery sorts of facilities. Then on my right, we have our Norris Comprehensive Cancer Hospital. And then just across the street, we have our major research buildings too. This one is unique because it's a for cranial plastic. Research and education are really the foundations upon which everything else at the School of Medicine is founded on. You have multitudes of opportunities to do bench work, uh, clinical research, translational research, and really take your work from the bench side to the bedside. Hey. This week, in fact, we've had a sickle cell patient, an aplastic anemia patient who came for treatment. We get uh, TTP patients. We have three to five autologous stem cell transplant patients on at any given time. This is a great place to go to medical school. It always has been. Your levels are coming down, looking good. Um, so you're thinking discharge? Yeah, I think you can go home today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't make doctors in a classroom. And so sir, we're gonna show you what you actually had before and after, okay? okay? This is what you came in with. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you came in with. You nearly locked out that entire lung, right? Oh my gosh. They have classroom education, they have hands-on training in our simulation centers, our clinical skills labs, and then also to have their clinical training um, in the hospitals and the clinics with actual patients in the first two years. I think the white coat ceremony that we had in the first week of classes was something special as we finally made it to medical school. The first year, it's like what they say, it's like water coming out of a fire hydrant. It's a lot of information. In terms of assessment plan, just kind of trend the hemoglobin as it's been going down. But it's exciting information. It's finally information that we want to learn as medical students. We watch them come in very nervous and anxious on the first day, first weeks, first months of medical school, and over the course of their pre-clerkship time, really get their legs under them, develop confidence, get engaged in the community and school as leaders. We're looking for that spark, that spark in a person that's going to become a good physician who's going to put the patient first. We're also going to be moving your room today. I want to help people. I went to medical school here, I'm proud to say. I will never forget that as long as I live. Coming from New Jersey, I didn't know a lot about Los Angeles and the different neighborhoods, so I thought it would be the safest just to live on campus. They have new coffee bar and study spaces. There are so many food areas just around campus. One of the tourist hotspots in LA was to go to Grand Central Market, and it's just booths of different foods and so many different cultural foods, and it was really nice just to walk around. It's really amenable to the life that medical students are gonna live. Life still happens as you're a medical student and you're gonna go through troubles just like you would if you weren't in medical school. We have several programs that are aimed at caring for the caregiver. It's imperative that you're a healthy trainee in order to provide the best and most exceptional health care to your patients. Program directors and residency programs and institutions know that students who have trained at USC Keck School of Medicine at the county hospital are incredibly well trained. They're clinically 
very sound and able to start residency on day one. We got lots of amazing patients and I just need 186 amazing students to fill up the next class. It's so important to know that you're part of the Trojan family. That's not just a catchphrase here, it's something that we really mean. We care about the people who are here. We care about you after you leave. It's a lifelong commitment on our part.